Hey y'all, it's Shelly with Bossy Chick Designs. I am going to be doing another tutorial on some little x-ray markers. They are out of a mold. Um, I used UV resin and some acrylic paint. So I'm gonna come show y'all how I made these. They're super cute. So let me get everything adjusted and I will be right back. So if you've seen my earlier video with the gummy bear molds, these gummy bear molds, the details kind of come up high. So you kind of have to fill the whole mold to get the whole design of the gummy bear. Whereas these are also like really thick, but I also don't fill it up all the way. So they're not as thick, but you can make it as thin or thick as you like and to your preference. Um, but for x-ray markers, I don't want mine super thick because some people do want them to fit into the Bucky. And if you do them really thick, they're definitely not going to fit into a Bucky because all Bucky's are a little bit different. And that's the, what you use to put the cassette in and it's a wall mounted grid or it's a grid on a table and it's the little tray that comes in and out of an x-ray table or on the wall Bucky. And it just makes for a cleaner picture. So some people like to put their markers right on the cassette because it's not as much magnification. So that's kind of why some people like it. I mean, I don't have a problem using my tabletop or taping it to the front of the Bucky, but some people might not like it. So I would suggest letting people know how thick they are. But so my friend picked out a lime green glitter. So it is um, cocktail glitter lime. This one is from Nola Craft Culture, which like I said, is one of my go-tos. And then the other one is a black and it's got like a foil in it. Um, I don't know if you can really see that very well. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit better. Um, so it does have some foil in it. And that one is, let me zoom back out. That one is Manhattan Jack. And that one is from Mr. Nola's. So that's kind of my two go-to places when um, I get my glitter. Um, so lead letters. So I had always been using Universal Medical for my lead letters. Um, I went the other day and I did see that their prices had gone up. So I kind of did a little bit more of a search and I did find another company. It's actually Easy X-Ray. I'm gonna show you the card. Um, Easy X-Ray, it's off of Etsy. Um, the letters are just a tad bit different. Let's see if I can zoom back in, guys. Oops, wrong way, sorry. So the letters do look just a little bit different, but, and they're also um, a little bit difference in the thickness of them. The ones from Easy X-Ray are a little bit thicker, but they're still going to work. I'm going to go ahead and use my ones from um, Universal Medical just because I'm going to use up what I have left. So I will go ahead and use these. So I will go ahead and add my resin to each little cup. Sorry guys, I still don't have a really great setup yet um, because I'm still waiting for them to do my floors in my craft room. So I'm gonna come mix it up. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one. This one's not quite as thin as I like it. Give me just a sec, let me readjust something here. All right, so like I was saying, I'm gonna mix them up and make sure that the consistency that I want, because the green, I know that I have to add a little bit more to it, a little bit more UV resin. My black just a little bit more also. Um, I get my resin, it's a Lumino brand. I do get mine off of Amazon, um, and I do get the 1000 gram. Um, I like it, I haven't had any problems with it, I mean, but to each their own. All right. So I don't like my glitter and resin mix super thick. I like it to run just a little bit to where it kind of drips off. So, all right. So I am going to do the bunny. So there's bunnies, hearts, um, little kitty cats. I think that's kitty cats. I don't know if it's supposed to be cats or little bears. 
Um, actually, that's the bear. This is the kitty cat. Flower stars, bows. Um, the bows you can't fit a right into, but if you so desired, you could do a left. Um, so I'm going to do black and lime. So with this particular mold, I'm going to kind of mostly fill it at the bottom Oop. as I make a mess. I'll clean that up in a second. And then I'm going to push it up into the ears. Because when I was doing it earlier on the first set I did, it really kind of stuck more, to, more so to the sides of it. So I will go ahead and clean this up real quick. I'm just making more of a mess, aren't I? That's all right. I can peel it off once it's cured. All right. So I will just grab a toothpick and then I kind of just run it around, pushing it here and there, trying to make sure it fills all the cracks. So that's that. So now I'm going to do the green one. Now, if you wanted, you could go ahead and um, do the whole thing in like the same color. Um, I prefer to be able to see the right and the left, just in case you forget which one's which. That way the x-ray tech can make sure that they put the correct marker on for, an, an, for the anatomical positioning. Um, Cause you really don't want to put up the wrong marker and then have to go and fix it after. Um, so I know different people have commented um, on other sites that I've been on that do x-ray markers. Um, now every state's gonna be a little bit different with rules and regulations. My state and my facility, we do not have to have our initials. Now they would prefer it, but overall, like my hospital really doesn't, it doesn't matter to them because the way that we digitally complete x-rays now, it like you they know who did the x-ray because you have to put your name on it when you complete the studies now. Whereas before, you know, the x-ray, you kind of didn't know who completed the x-rays without having initials. So since before computer systems. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this. Um, everybody's lamps are going to be a little bit different. My particular lamp, let me adjust you a little, is a 72 watt lamp. So depending on your particular lamp will depend on how long it takes. Now my lamp probably takes about three to five minutes. It kind of depends. Um, if you have any problems with it, you are more than welcome to go put them out in the sun. So I'm going to hit them like this. And then once I'm done everything and pop them out, I will hit them from the other side. I might even hit them before I pop them out to try to cure both sides. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cure mine. And then I will be right back once they're done curing to finish the clear part with the letters to show you all that. So I'll be back. All right, so now I am going to put some clear resin in this and then I'm gonna drop my letters. So for your clear resin um, part, it'll kind of depend on how thick your x-ray markers are because you wanna cover the whole back of it. That way um, nothing's exposed where you don't have to worry about it popping off or anything. So I'm just gonna fill the ears. And fill the body. So my friend didn't tell me which one she wanted left and right. So I am going to drop this one here and be careful because the first set that I did, let's see if I can find it. My left one, my L's a little off because I picked up my mold and moved it. Um, and I guess I really shouldn't have done that because it shifted just enough in the mold that it's not straight and it really bothers me. But that one wasn't an order for anybody. That was just a trial run for me playing with this particular mold. Because I have not done the bunnies yet until I did the test run. All right. So some people are of the different mindset with um, taking a lighter to it. I do. Um... 
I mean, my lighters don't get very hot, and I would prefer to pop bubbles if I can. So I'll pop as many as I can. So both of my letters are covered. Um, so I am going to leave this sit right here. Oh, look, I actually got some bubbles. So I am going to leave this sit right here, and I'm just going to move my lamp on top of it. That way, I don't have to worry about the letters shifting. And then I'm going to cure that again. So for those of you that don't know a whole lot about x-ray markers or that maybe not had looked at um, my other videos or even seen x-ray markers before, these are some that I made for me. So when I was telling you about initials, lots of times they'll have the right and the left and they'll have the x-ray text initials. So mine are SD or SED, it kind of depends. Um, if somebody's already got SD, they might do an SED, they'll throw in your middle name, or they might throw in a one or a two in the back of it. Um, it all depends on the facility. They'll make them a little bit different to where if you have people with multiple same initials, that way they can tell the difference. Um, but like I said, most places out here, it's not mandatory to have your initials. So I actually sell more with just right and left, but it's up to the customer. I mean, that's their choice, what they're buying, and it's going to depend on their particular facility, um, how they do it there. So, I mean, it's preference, but these are mine that I made for myself. Um, I still have my original ones from when I started x-ray school. I think I lost one of them, um, but I did have another set too from when I graduated x-ray school. But yes, I am an x-ray tech, if anybody's wondering. So I will come back when I am done curing these. All right, so these are cured. So I am going to come and pop them out. And I just give them a little push. So that's one. And then that's two. Um, so like if you look at the mold, I don't know if you can see, it's got some like little edges on it. And there's also an edge all the way around. So you have a couple different options with this. You can either take resin and fill this all in. Or um, I've actually just been kind of sanding it down because I really don't want it quite that thick. Um, same thing with this one. It's got a little ledge all around the corners. So I actually just take some 220 sandpaper. Um, and then I will just sand this little bit right off. Now... Please watch your nails if you have nails. I am not used to having nails yet. So um, I sanded my nail earlier. And then I'll just take just a little bit of resin. Sorry, my screen's shaking. But see, I just sand the edge off. You probably could use a rougher one, but this is what I have on hand. I don't know that I have anything different. Hang on guys, let me go get that. It just fell. Alright, so I'm just going to sand this a little bit more and then um, what I'll do, I mean I don't think y'all need to watch me sand, but I will come back and show y'all what I do to get rid of this little sanded part because you can either go through the different grits, but I actually just take a little bit of resin. So let me come sand this other one and then I'll be right back. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna put a little bit of resin in my little cup here. I'm gonna put a glove on. And then I'll just get a little bit of that on my finger. And then I am just going to rub it around to catch where I sanded. Now, if you do clean it with alcohol, just be very careful because, as you know, alcohol does dull UV resin. So, if anything, if you want to take some water or whatever and go wipe it off, that's fine. So, I just do that and it gets rid of the dull part and then I will go ahead and go cure that. So, it will be a few minutes for that to cure. Um, so, for the acrylic part, I have some black acrylic paint that I think I got from like Hobby Lobby 
maybe even Michael. So this is my black one. And then I have a whole set of um, Arteza paints that I bought because um, I do pencil pens. Um, so you, I use this to color, to paint the pen and then add the glitter on top of that before I resin it. So I will be using these, I think, on um, the black one. And I think I'm gonna use pink and black on the green one. So we'll see. I really haven't decided what particular colors I'm gonna use yet on which ones, but I'm gonna let that cure and I will be right back in just a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna come color in their little eyes and stuff and their ears. So I just use um, a toothpick and I will just get a little bit of the acrylic on it. And then I'll just kind of dab it here and there. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure that somebody has a brush that they could use for it, but I honestly don't think I have a teeny tiny brush. So this works for me. And then if I catch anything that I shouldn't, I can just use my finger and wipe it off. I haven't really had much of an issue. And then see, I'll just take my finger and wipe to get any excess that falls out side off. See? Now some of them are a little bit easier to see if you uh, kind of maneuver with the lighting. So that you can see where the little holes and stuff are. Um, the black one's not so bad. If you have to, you can also wipe off your toothpick and kind of readjust what you need. So that's that one for the ears. So now I'm going to come do the ears on the other one. I actually think I'm going to do his little nose. Now the nose and the mouth is a little bit harder to find. Sorry if my lighting and stuff, I really don't have a very good setup yet for doing videos because like I said, I really don't have much area right now to work with. So we keep getting told that they're coming. So I guess hopefully they'll come soon. And then same thing, I will just take my finger and wipe off the excess. So oh, that's his little nose. So now I'm gonna come do the pink on the other one since I'm working with pink before I clean off my toothpick. And I honestly think I'm just gonna stick with blue eyes on both of them. I mean, you can do it in whatever colors that you like. And then after I'm gonna use my heat gun to help try to dry this cause it is a little bit thicker. Of a paint that I'm putting in here. So the bummer is, is that currently in my craft room, I, ha I don't even have a seat right now in here. So I have to stand the whole time that I craft. So I'm hoping that once I get um, my craft room back together, I will be able to do different videos. I mean, like, I don't know if anybody wants Cricut videos or what, but I mean, I can do some Cricut tutorials. Um, I do dabble with other, um, resins too, resin projects, because I do tumblers and stuff. So let's see, do I want his mouth? I think we're going to do his mouth black, just to be a little different. And then I'll do 
maybe blue eyes. I'm gonna have to see what that blue looks like on the black. I might need a lighter blue. So I'm just gonna come put a little bit of paint down. And honestly, that's entirely too much, but that's okay. So now I gotta come find his little nose. And I will wipe off any excess. And like I did say before, just be careful with your alcohol because alcohol does dull UV resin. Now, if you were using regular two-part resin, go for it. I mean, alcohol is not going to do anything to it. Um, no, I think blue will be okay on this one. Oh, yeah, look at that. And honestly, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could go and put the little white dots for the irises and stuff like that. I am crafty, but I don't think I am that crafty. I would probably totally butcher that up. So that is that one. I think I'm gonna come put blue eyes on this one too. So yeah, I mean, you can have as much fun with these as you like. Make them all sorts of colors. I think the other set I did um, for my other, for my friend, actually she's the one that's ordered several of these. I think I just stuck with black, because honestly that was the first time I had done it using um, acrylics. I had never used acrylics in resin before. All right, so that is my bunnies. So I am going to pause and come back. I'm gonna take my heat gun to them and dry them. And then I will go ahead and put some little resin to fill in all the little um, additions here. And I will be right back. All right, so it is dry. So I am just going to throw Oops, let me back up some. Oops, wrong way. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of my UV resin. I'm gonna drop it right in here. And then I am just gonna get it on the tip. And I will drop it right in. To each little into each little spot that I filled. And then you can just use your toothpick to kind of drag it around to fill. Just drop it in. Yep. And then I will spread it around just a little bit since it's 
a little high. All right, so I will go and cure these now. And um, I guess while that's curing, I will show y'all how I package them myself. Um, I made my own little cards. Um, but I keep going the, other, the wrong way. Sorry, guys. So I have my little bossy chick designs. I have x-ray markers. I will explain how to clean them. Use a little soap and water, use a lint-free cloth. Do not use alcohol to clean your markers. Um, I just go ahead and leave that just as standard just because I don't know if I'll ever use resin or two-part resin, UV resin, whatever. So I just leave it. And then um, I do throw in a little cloth that, it's in, that it is a handmade item that there are going to be slight imperfections just because we are human. Likelihood is, is if somebody sees like a little imperfection, it is what it is. I mean, we do our best as a crafter to create the best quality product that we can, but we are human. And then I'll put a little comment about avoid leaving an extreme temperature. It's just like your basic little standard little disclaimer. And then I actually double side tape them. Let's see. Okay, I got some double side tape. Let's see if I can find scissors. So I would just put some double side tape on the back of them. You can place it ultimately however you want. Sorry guys, I am so not used to having nails. And then you can place them however you want on there. I could honestly probably just put it on the paper since I'm so used to having nails. I mean, so used to not having nails. I have these little short stubby nails normally. So it's no big deal. I can usually peel anything off, but now my nails are so thick now since I started getting them done. So that, and then I have these little four by six little bags that I slip them into. And then I will fold it over and seal it. And that's how I do mine. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. They're super cute. And it fits my regular acrylics, uh, my two inch acrylic cutouts that I use, my um, 1.5 inch also. So it works for me. So that is that. Um, and then these are the other little bunnies. So that is them. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you have anything that you need answered, please message me. I will do the best I can to answer it. I hope y'all enjoy the tutorials. And I guess if y'all want to know anything else or have any other ideas for me, let me know. And I'll do my best to do a tutorial on it if it's something I do. So y'all have a good night. Um, I don't like to keep my videos too long, but this actually ran a little bit longer than normal. Y'all have a good night. Once again, like, subscribe, comment, please. Enjoy, share. Have a good night.